You're up early. Cuddy needed a consult. We're checking for spinal lesions from leukemia. Yeah, I know. Fits perfectly. Unless this is the patient with the anaphylaxis, the heart failure, and the paralysis, in which case you're wasting your time. We want a second opinion. Second? It's giving you at least eight. Okay, well, here's nine. Botulism. Listen to me, have you eaten anything abnormal? Any canned foods? No. You sure? <sighs> Lying to your parents is usually the right thing to do, but there's an impending death exception. Don't talk to her like that. You're right. She never lies. I was being rude. When your boyfriend snuck in on Friday night. Surprise. Perhaps he got you some sexy little treats, huh? Some honey or some edible underwear, some massage oils. Come on, anything. <laughs> we know about the sex. Is that the Danny's little Danny is full of penicillin. That's what caused your anaphylactic shock. You didn't tell us that was... <laughs> no. It was Ichiklin device and what I use. He said he was on penicillin. I saw the bottle. It's a non-penicillin antibiotic. <laughs> the antibiotics didn't cause the anaphylaxis. Still on the table. Everything is connected. Hey, what did we discuss? What was the differential? Cameron said... When Dan came to your house that night, did you go through any tall grass? Climbed the fence. <laughs> what are you doing? Your daughter had two visitors on Friday night. One of them is still in the room. She has tick paralysis. Dan tracked a tick onto his jeans, which wouldn't be a problem but being a teenager. Dan couldn't keep his tick in his pants. We already checked her. Now I'm checking her. Tick bites don't ordinarily cause anaphylactic shock. This girl's allergies are not ordinary. House, get out of here. We have to re-intubate her, get her into the MRI. The time course is perfect. The bite itself sets off an allergic reaction. Then it takes four days to kick in, heart's vulnerable, it hits that first. And a day later, sets off the ascending paralysis. Except that ticks aren't usually invisible. They are until you find them. Oh, that's dandruff. Okay, well, that wasn't nearly as dramatic as I'd hoped. It just means the next time will be even better. What's happening? That's the tick venom ascending. Either that or you stress turn to heart failure. BP's dropping, heart rate 47. I'm administering atropine. She's gonna need a transvenous pacing wire. Okay, magical tick hunt is over. Only real doctor stuff now. This is just gonna get worse. The ticks produce more toxins the longer they feed. She's gonna be dead in an hour even if you pump her heart full of jet fuel. Unless you let me find the tick. Could he be right? The only thing I know for sure is that your daughter's heart won't last another 20 minutes without treatment. Okay, just need one final instruction. When I find Tick on the autopsy, do you want to know? I'm thinking not. Probably make the coping easier. Stop talking to them. Paige Persiski and cardiology get her team down here stat. Get them out of here, get house out of here too. Dr. Wilson, I could use your help. Well, I don't know if the dopamine's enough. She may need an amaranone lactate. Why? What's that? She doesn't. She might need stronger pressors, I and mean, when they don't have any in radiology. Enamoranone can cause arrhythmia and thrombocytopenia. Not enamoranone could cause death. Death's worse. We have to get her up to the ICU. Sorry. A little crowded here. House, to get out of the elevator. Welcome to wait for the next one. You got her? Got her. As long as we're stuck here, this might be a good time to look for that tick. Turn the elevator back on. Just be a minute, honey. Things wearing off. Inject her again. That's just temporary. Temporary's fine. We're not hanging wallpaper. We've got to get her upstairs and put her on norepinephrine. It wasn't penicillin. You still think the symptoms are unconnected? We've got to take care of her heart. But you wake up in the morning, your paint's peeling, your curtains are gone, and the water's boiling. Which problem do you deal with first? House. None of them. The building's on fire. We treat her symptoms, she dies. We find the cause, she lives. That tick is an IV drip of poison. We unhook it, she'll be fine. my last atropine. Lasts us about three minutes. Let's get a gown on. Her 
heart rate falls below 35, we're getting her to the ICU. I'm not gonna let her die in this elevator. Where are they? Get maintenance up here, right away. Your canal's clean. Left foot's clean. If it's not here, we've only got... Heart rate's 46. It's here. Looks like a mole or a freckle, something we missed. Check the armpits. Dr. Foreman's an excellent doctor. He'll be able to handle it. Yeah? You know that from experience? You lose a lot of patients on elevators? The maintenance guy said it didn't just stop on its own, that they hit the emergency stop button. Well, I'm sure he must be mistaken. Perineum. We checked it. If we get her upstairs, we Axilla. still... Axilla. Checked. Down to 38. We don't have a lot of time. Because Eyebrows, of... eardrums, pubic hair. Checked, checked, checked. We checked everywhere. It's not... 35. We gotta get it to the ICU. We haven't found the tick yet. We already kidnapped her. You wanna add murder? We've looked over every inch of skin on her body, House. It's over. Hey, is that the first time you had sex? All the other stuff going on down there, she might not have realized. Oh. Let's get her into the ICU. 